Hello and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com. Today we're going to talk about growing strawberries indoors. It is possible to grow strawberries indoors, providing that you have very bright light coming from an eastern or southern window, but preferably adding to that light with full spectrum lighting. These are bare root strawberries. This is a seascape strawberry. Here's one that's been growing for about a month now. These are day neutral strawberry plants, which means that they can bear anywhere between 35 and 89 degrees, this particular variety, which is the one I always use. So you can, it can be grown indoors because most homes fall within that range. Actually, most homes fall within 65 to 75 degrees. What you want to do is get them bare root at this time of year, perfect opportunity. If you get them planted, you will have fruit six to eight weeks from now. The first thing you want to do with the bare root is soak them in a solution with a B1 or a C kelp a fertilizer, a little bit of that in it will help with transplant shock and to get them off to a good start. Then after they've been soaking for at least an hour, you can go a little bit longer, two or three hours, and you could go a little bit less if you're in a hurry, but a good hour is a good, good amount of time for the roots, which have been moist but not wet, to re, re uptake water. We're going to cut off these excess stems here. We're also going to cut off a little bit of the roots. We're not going to cut off a lot. If you, you see here, also a good thing to look for is healthy roots. These are brown, tan roots. If you have mushy black roots, that's a sign of root rot. That's not a good sign that the plants are not healthy. These are good. I'm going to cut off just a little bit, just to make them a little bit shorter. And take off this extra stem here going to plant them. It's very important that you plant them at the right height. So what you want to do is dig down. You also don't want this to curl when you plant. That's not a good thing. You want them to go down as straight as possible. That's where the cu cutting them back a little bit sometimes is necessary. This is a pretty, pretty deep. You don't need a really, really deep pot, but you do want a pot that's at least a foot. This is about a foot, maybe a little bit less deep. Put it in nice and straight and then you put the soil around it. What you want to do is you want to cover the roots but you do not want to cover the crown. If you cover the crown the plant will rot. So the crown should be right up above and the roots right below. I'm going to show you on this one. I'm going to plant another one to show you what I'm talking about the crown. The crown is where all the growth is coming from. It's a you'll, When you feel it, if, when you get yours and you feel it, you'll feel a rounded hard part here. That's the crown. The roots are coming out of the crown and then on top is where these, these stems and the, the uh, leaves come out. If you have an old stem there to cut that off, once again trimming just a little bit. You don't need to trim a lot. Get any at dead foliage off. Planting again. Same thing. Covering the roots. Not covering the, the the crown. In this size pot you can fit four. This will this will comfortably fit four. I probably wouldn't go less than that and I wouldn't go less than three otherwise you'll have too much soil and too much wet soil which can lead to root rot. Here is one that was planted about three weeks ago so you can see how quickly they will start to grow. New growth coming out of the middle is a good sign. It means it's growing well. This is what it'll look like when it has some flowers and then the flowers and inside there is the fruit. After this is all planted you want to water thoroughly and then not water again until the first inch or so is dried out and it could take a little while especially growing indoors for that to happen. If you would like to see more stories on growing fruits and veggies indoors please visit healthyhouseplants.com also, go to our store on HealthyHouseplants.com to get your own bare root seascape strawberries for planting. Please leave comments about any other indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see, and remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video.